What's up everybody, my name is Chris and today in this video I want to talk about the calmer earpieces which are passive earpieces that you put into your ear canal and they reduce distortions in every sound. As a quick disclaimer, these were sent to me by Flare Audio for the purpose of making this review. They are not going to see this before it goes live, this is my opinion and experience as I have tested these over the last few weeks. Now to jump in, let's unbox these so that you can get an idea as to what is inside. Of course, I have already unboxed these. However, I think it is still interesting to show you what you get in the box. Now these here are the Calmer standard version. I also have the Calmer Pro version, which I will unbox in a second. Now this comes in a bit of a paper envelope essentially. And you have, of course, the product descriptions and everything on the back of this envelope. And then inside, you have another little envelope and these have the calmer inside. You have a 100 day money back guarantee that they ship with that, the manual for these so that you know how to use these. And of course also a bit more information about how they work. And then also you get a little bit of a carrying pouch. Now let's put these things to the side and take a look at the calmer earpieces themselves. And there we have the standard version of the calmer earpieces. Now, what you can see here is you basically have a bit of a silicon piece that is completely passive, so it needs no batteries whatsoever. And essentially, you take it like this into your finger and thumb, and then you put this into your ear. And I will have B-roll showing you that process also later on again. So this is the standard version. This is just this silicon piece. And now let's take a look at the pro version and also unbox that. Now here you can see the pro version already has more of a pro packaging. So you have a box for this, you have a little bit more information on the outside or at least it is easier to see. Now, however, let's push this out here and we don't need that anymore. On here they have a bit of an embossed long living ears, which is apparently one of their slogans. And then if we open this up, we get to the calmer manual again. And that, of course, goes off to the side. And here you have this little layout where you have the two calmer pieces, which are now the calmer pieces pro. You can also take this out and on the inside, you will find another little pouch so that you can actually also store your calmer pro. Now we can take this out of the picture and here you have the calmer pro. The pros are slightly different to the standard in that they have a aluminum core and they are also slightly bigger. Now we'll talk about that in the later part of this video, but for now, let's put them onto the screen like so. Now, in addition to these, the company also sells this little carrying case, which essentially is a bit more protection than these pouches here, because in these pouches, you get all kinds of dust onto your calmers. And here in these ones, you don't have that issue. You can just put them in this tube and screw it shut. And of course, you can also put this, for example, onto your ring or keychain. So that's something that I'm not going to focus on here. We are going to focus on how these actually affect your hearing and what they change, if they're worth it, and all of those kind of things. Now, before we start talking about my personal experience with these, let's take a look at the manual to see what these actually are supposed to do. And here on the first page, if this is the pro manual, you will find basically a step-by-step -step description in terms of what to listen for. Also, were to use these, how long you should at least use them to be able to kind of gauge whether or not you find a difference in your hearing. Then number four would be to see what kind of effects you actually can expect. And here, this is one of the most interesting pieces. They are basically claiming a relaxed body language, reduced stress, increased concentration, as well as less triggering. And then the last point is just about maintenance and that you can clean both of these individually. And of course, you can also take out the aluminum core from the pros. The environments where they are saying that these are especially interesting or helpful are when you have sensitive hearing, in conversations, commuting, like public transport, subway, buses, and stuff like that, out in nature, watching TV. Now, I have tested these, for example, in family gatherings where there's a lot of noise going on. Also, when going to the cinema, listening to movies or watching movies at home and all of those things, I also tried it out with headphones and had that experience. But I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. On the other side of this manual, you will find a description as to how you put these into your ear. And that is one very interesting part. 
Because when you look at this little tiny device, there's this stem up here, which you might be able to see right there. And that actually does not go into your ear like this. So you have the stem on the outside and then goes in like so. But instead, you turn this over so that the stem essentially touches the inside here of your ear. So you put this in like so. And then you push this into place and now I have the Calmer Pro inside of my ear canal and that way I can start using it. You might find it a little bit irritating, it might fit too big, so that might be an indicator for you to go for the standard instead of the Pro version. However, I found that the Pro version fits very well in my ear and does not disturb me if I wear it for a good amount of time. Now, on the other side of this manual, you will see what they're actually claiming that this device does. And for the most part, they're talking about frequencies. And the human ear hears anything between 20 and 20,000 hertz. This, of course, changes with age and those kind of things. However, that's the general range. Now, in that area, through these types of distortions, based on the fact that the sound will bounce around inside of your ear, there seems to be an area, or at least that's what they're describing, where the frequency response is heightened. And that is around 4000 to 16000 hertz. That's the black indicator right there. Now with the calmer in your ear, this tube-like device basically makes it so that the sounds are more directional. So the frequencies or the sound waves are hitting your eardrum more directional without the disturbance of the ear canal. And that's at least the claim as to what is going on here, which then leads to this aspect with the reduced frequencies in that range that apparently is a more disturbing one. So that's the explanation that they're giving here. Now, how about my personal experience? And for that, I have to say, I obviously cannot make a scientific claim about this. This is just experiential. I have tried these in different environments, one of which was family gathering at Christmas in the cinema, watching movies at home, going outside in nature, and listening to sounds with headphones on. I have not had the chance to use it in public transport since having these available to me. For me personally, I found the most extreme use out of this was at family gatherings, most specifically at Christmas. Those are usually relatively stressful and sometimes it can be triggering at times. And this time around with the Calma Pro, which were the ones that I used for that specific event, I felt less triggered, I felt less stressed and it all made the whole day more enjoyable. Now, of course, I don't have a A-B test group for this. I can't necessarily say that last Christmas the people were the exact same as this year. So things change and maybe this was just an incredibly harmonious Christmas party. However, with the commerce in my ears, I felt like I was more relaxed, more calm, and I could enjoy the whole day a little bit more. Then in the cinema, I also used the Calmer Pro and there I had them in for about half a movie. Then I took them out for about a quarter and then I had them in for the last quarter of the movie. And there I would definitely say that it helped me listen in better to the sounds that the movie were supposed or was supposed to make or how I would like to have that experience. And I would actually bring them back for another experience when I go back to the movies. The sounds were just a little bit clearer and helped me at least more in that experience. Then of course I also used both of them in other environments like for example going out in nature or also using them here at home when watching TV and movies as well as listening to music with the headphones. Generally speaking, I did not necessarily find a huge difference between the Pro and the Standard version. However, I personally find the Pro version fit better into my ear and I find it nicer to wear them. And in some way, it feels like the aluminium also does something. However, I wasn't really able to quantify that and it may just be the better fit in my ear with the Pros because they are slightly bigger. It also may be branding that I think the Pros are better because they are Pro, of course. Overall, I would definitely say for certain types of things, I would definitely bring these back and wear them. For example, going to the cinema as well as family gatherings where there are a lot of people in close proximity because it felt better to have them in my ear to reduce stress and have a nicer day, more joyful, more relaxed. Now, are these a placebo effect or is it real? That I cannot really tell. I just have the experience that I have and that's what I can share with you. 
Now, I might also try these out when I, for example, enter an airplane the next time. This will be in a couple of months from now. So that might be another interesting test with a lot of people around, with a lot of noises, maybe even the travel there in public transport, such kind of things. So that's going to be another part. Maybe I will talk about this here or at least add some information in a comment or the description. Now, another thing is you will have to clean these. And of course, you also have to clean your ears because with these in your ear canal, you will see the earwax every single day. And if you have a problem with that, those might not be for you. However, they are extremely easy to clean. And if you already have clean ears, then of course they also stay clean. The easiest thing about these is that they are just made out of silicon. So you can just take whatever you have around, for example, a cotton tip swab, and you can just clean it off you can also use some kind of fabric to just wipe things off and then leave them out to dry. And with the aluminum ones, you can actually just basically push this out so you have the aluminum part which is inside individually. So now you have the silicon part and the aluminum part and you clean both of those, for example, with a cotton swab and then you have that ready to go again. Let it dry, put it back together and you're good to go. Now my conclusion, do I recommend these? I would say if you have certain types of environments, then I would definitely try these out. This is, however, in some regards, a very high level thing to start to improve or try to improve. Is it really that different? Now, if you have incredibly sensitive hearing, if you have children at home, or if you're using public transport a lot, or you are in very loud environments, then these might be incredibly interesting for you to test out. For me, in my everyday life, they are a marginal improvement for certain types of environments, as I've mentioned previously. With that said, at least from the information that I found in the packaging of one of these, they are providing a 100 day money back guarantee. So if you are not happy with the results of the calmer devices, that is of course something that you can go for. Now that's everything that I have to say about the Calmer earpieces as of today. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section down below or check out the link in the description for information about these, where you can get them, and of course also the ability to contact the manufacturer. And with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day, make it your life, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.